for FIFA World. Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albaid Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. This is what they'll be up against today. Jose Maria Jimenez plays with Diego Godin at the back. Lucas Torreira plays with Rodrigo Bentancur in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Luis Suarez plays alongside Edinson Cavani. Well, prior to the last 20 years, Portugal were infrequent visitors to the World Cup. All that has changed. We always expect them to be there. And frankly, we expect them to be involved in the business end of the tournament. Well, we know they have good players. In fact, very good players. They've also got a coach that knows how to win football matches. And they can challenge anybody when they play at their best. They're certainly a team to watch in this tournament. Torreira. Now sending it in. Not all that convincing defensively. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the replay. And you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. So back underway, having conceded, let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Bruno Fernandes. It's with William Carvalho. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo, but what can he produce from here? Ronaldo. Oh, could be! Brilliantly blocked! Luis Suarez. Vigna. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Fluency of movement. Opportunity here. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Outrageously skillful. Fernando Silva. And teammates to play it to. Corner given.
Who can they pick out? Well, last line of defence, literally. Bruno Fernandes. A chance to eat into their lead. And a goal by Cristiano Ronaldo. So typical of him. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Moving once more. And Portugal, undeniably, right back in this contest now. Valverde and with that the attack fizzles out Ruben Neves Ronaldo well that's how to keep the opposition at bay Ruben Neves on the ball, Rafael Leao. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Now, the story surrounding Cristiano Ronaldo is usually a positive one, and tonight, no exception. Well, the ball is moving again, and work to do for Portugal in this second half. Went in strongly, decisively. Bernardo Silva. Well, it could be on for him here. Just watch this again. Bernardo Silva's pass is inch perfect. And Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. Not many sides would have the mental strength to bounce back from adversity like this team. De Arascaeta. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Rafael Leao. Cavani. Can they forge ahead? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And short it is. And reading it absolutely superbly. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it petered out. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Bentancur. Back to Bentancur. Poor pass. Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafael Leao. Neves. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. The high press was very much on. Bernardo Silva. Bentancur with it. Strength and control, a big part of his game.
And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Plenty of support here. Options in the centre. Cavani. Well, it's one pass after another. Will that lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Bernardo Silva. Still pushing for a winner. Bernardo Silva. and it all starts off with that cross into the box just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it and Ronaldo made the finish look so easy as he so often does it's a lovely goal Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Could be. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, I have to say that's a really composed finish he had to get that absolutely right he certainly did that well they've restarted the game and it's three apiece And just five minutes remaining. An effective challenge. Ronaldo. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Oh, big opportunity! Sound piece of goalkeeping. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant, but overall, I think a draw is just about the right result.